Welcome to Indecisive Gardener. I'm Stacy Jo. And today, I need to conquer my decorations. As you can see, they're still laying around, minding their own business. Honestly, my office has become a catch-all. Here and on the desk, wrapping more decorations. And they all go in this small space. So it's organized time. Where to start? I'm thinking here. Let's make some space. And my plan is, so I think this is the area right here. I'm gonna put the ones that are most special to me. That way I can grab them quickly and won't be tripping over stuff. Um, over here is the least priority. The ones I did actually use this year, and there was a lot of them I didn't use. Um, that was because I ran out of time. Not because they're not special, but they can go over here on the bottom. I want to put all of the wrapping, not these, but ones in the totes. Um, this kind of wrapping that are in baskets are going in prettier baskets that are not falling apart. And they'll stay on the floor. And I guess in the middle, will be gosh I I thought of it probably in the middle will probably be all the bulky stuff that can't go in boxes and stuff I think that's the plan mind you the only reason why I have the day off is because of the weather I'm not afraid of the snow, however, this has ice on it and um, they are predicting freezing rain as of 2 p.m. today and I didn't want to be stuck at work during night shift. I don't want to drive home in the ice. I will drive in snow all day long. I have a Jeep, I have four wheel drive, but ice is another story. I think back upstairs where the office is as I trip over a dog toy. All of this needs to go over there. And that, which is ornaments for the tree, needs to go over here. That one too. But then I have to remove this first. It's a vicious cycle. I need a stepping stool. <laughs> that was my butt. This is a bunch of, of ribbon um, that needs to go with the wrapping paper. These are going in the center. These are actual gifts that I bought my grandson, but he'll fit in them better next year or the following year. So I'm just going to save these aside. Oh, you want to see what they are? Little Snuggies, little blankets. There's a doggy. And I think that's a dinosaur. <laughs> or maybe a dragon, I'm not sure. Lights flickering, oh my gosh, okay. Anyway, that's what I got my grandson. Um. 
So these, oh yes. These are ornaments that are my son's and he's 24 years old. So but I'm saving them aside for when he moves out maybe this year. What's this? Oh, this is for the Christmas tree that's downstairs. There we go. But, oh, <laughs> I am trapped. I'm such a dork. Perfect. This is a very special tree that has been in the family, my husband's family. It was his mother's. She gave it to him, and I love this tree because my grandmother had one too. So now we have ours. Well, I got one section filled up and managed to uh, fill up the closet. Yikes. I hate being hypothyroid. I'm pooped. <sighs> I need a break. Hopefully I'll get this done today and have time to edit too and spend time with my husband tonight until I get back to work. Yeah. So I think I've shared enough. I won't bore you anymore. But I'm hoping this motivates you all who are like me who wait till the last minute to put away their decorations. Well, honestly, I waited till the last minute to put them up too. So there's that. But normally I leave the tree up after January 5th because January 5th is my son's birthday. Well, he's older now. I really shouldn't be waiting, but I am. And because I had today off, I said, what the hey? Remember to plant kindness, to grow love, have an awesome day, and God bless. Thank you for watching my video. Please like and share and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Well, the winds are picking up, but no freezing rain. <sighs> Maybe in an hour. I mean, I did call in. It better freeze and rain now. Yeah. It started. Don't know if you can see.